guys, this is Leanna, and as you can see, my room has been starting to get really messy. I've just been developing the habit of dumping my stuff everywhere due to the current circumstance, so I'm going to take you guys along with me as I organize my room. So the first category of items that I'm looking at are clothing. For those who are unfamiliar with the KonMari method, which is the one that I'm following, it is developed by Marie Kondo in which you look at all of your items and you ask yourself, does this spark joy? Have you been using it in the past year? And if the answer is no, you can either discard it or recycle it. So category two is books. I challenged myself by minimizing the amount of books that I could have to one shelf. This really put me in a good mindset to think about what books I need and what books I don't need. The good thing about the KonMari method is that it really opens your eyes as to what you use on a daily basis. Humans are quite simple beings. We actually don't need that much to keep us happy. And it also helps to keep your space nice and organized to keep a nice and clear mind. I don't know about you guys, but organizing to me is a very therapeutic thing. And for the next category, we have kimono. Now, kimono can mean anything as long as it's big enough for you to have to dissect and organize. And for me, my kimono is all of my art supplies. The key to the KonMari method is to look at all of your items and divide them into categories and subcategories. All of this stuff will go into here. I got acrylics, I got oils, I got paintbrushes, ceramic tools, markers, and all of that kind of lot. So just to help me organize that, I got mason jars and boxes to fit everything into its own place. An example of a subcategory would be, for me, my sketchbooks. I have so many of them that I could literally fill up a whole box. Another tip for organizing is to get shelves that have their own compartments or boxes, like this one, which help to conceal things that you don't necessarily want to show or have on display. Something about seeing things out of place takes up physical space, but also mental space. Having a lot of stuff out in the open can be a lot for your brain to process, so it's good to keep your room nice, clean, and clear. Moving on to the very last section, or location shall I say, is my desk, which is now a glorified dumping ground. At this point, we're not just organizing things, but we are also cleaning. After organizing and cleaning out your entire room, you should be good to go ahead and clean every surface that you can. Make sure to clean off the dust before you start wiping down with any Lysol wipes or Windex as when you use the wipes it can start to push all of the dust around. And there we have it. There's my desk completely clutter free. As you can see I had little compartments at the bottom to fit my pens in one section, my rulers and all the miscellaneous stuff. And here's a clip of me struggling to grab that dust bunny underneath my bed. Don't forget to vacuum, guys! Also, boxes like these help to put away anything sentimental, like photos, or just like little mementos you want to keep. And there we have it. Thank you for watching, and I hope your rooms are clean. Stay safe and dust bunny free. Bye!